hi friends welcome to hot show reason 91 youtube channel and this is the solidworks tutorials for beginners tutorial series and uh, i'm going to show you how to use the solidworks boundary boss or base feature in step by step manner okay open your solidworks software then first you have to make sketches for developing applying the boundary boss feature click new create part file okay wait for getting the part file interface this is a graphic area of this all works this is a sketch command uh, commanding tool and uh, for sketching select a default plane I'm selecting the top plane and normal applying normal to it and uh, creating a circle yeah and you can add dimension by using the smart dimension tool i'm giving it to 150 yeah again i am doing uh, and uh, making it to 3d view okay this is the first sketch we can call that sketch one this is mentioned here in the feature design tree manager and uh, select a plane default plane perpendicular to it and uh, by clicking here apply normal to and i'm going to draw a curve by one uh, intersecting one of the one of the surface of the circular sketch and uh, and i'm creating the uh, sketch in a second direction i'm clicking on spline for creating curve sorry one two okay again okay click double click on the interface then that is exit sketch then again select the right plane here we already know apply normal to it and click on spline and create the second sketch that is a curve which should be intersect with the sketch number one that is sketch row like this so, um, let's intersecting this Uh, oh, like this okay I draw a curve like this this is sketch 2 here is mentioned double click to exit sketch or click on here exit sketch these are the two sketches one is one is created in the top plane and uh, one is created in the right plane that means I created two sketches in the two directions okay go to the features commandment to the command toolbar and uh, here it is boundary boss or you can go to insert boss boundary click here select the boundary and the direction one so we just design tree manager select the sketch one and the direction two select the sketch two look it automatically develops the two develops the more add the material between these two sketches and uh, sketches the boundaries of these two sketches there are two options direction vector and normal to profile if you click on the direction vector it's according to set according to the direction of the vector uh, or if you click the normal to profile it is adding normal to the profile here i am not applying anything i am just select to none and I'm just showing this example to create how to create the boundary for feature using it. Yeah, this is a model by creating these two sketches, and uh, I applied two boundary feature in between two directions. Uh, one in this perpendicular to the through the circular profile uh, that is top plane direction, and one in the right plane direction. I will show a section view of this sketch like this 
and like this okay another section view just look like this okay yeah Yeah, this way you can create boundary model using the boundary boss feature using the two sketch profiles. Next, I will show you how to add materials between two boss features. Okay, let's see it. Now we can create, uh, we can apply boundary boss or base feature between two boss feature. Okay let's create two boss feature and apply boundary boss feature for that i'm also creating uh, using the front plane sketching a i'm creating a cylinder here so on the origin okay i'm roughly taking the direction clicking extrude boss and extruding it to that direction click let's create one feature it's the way it look like okay next i'm creating another i'm selecting another plane that is right plane hmm. okay um i have to create a, a reference plane from the right plane uh, left flip click flip to left just away from the away from the away, that is 150 mm away from the first going and uh, I'm normalizing it and I'm clicking here and the following the same center creating a smaller circular section and uh, apply extrude boss getting okay, 3d to okay this is the two boss features and I am going to connect it by using the boundary for boss or base feature okay make sure you are exit from the sketch and go okay select boundary boss or base and uh, i want to add the materials between two these two faces this connection between these two faces click on the one face and uh, in direction one same direction in this way you can connect it and uh, you have to you have to align the materials to the flow of the material there are three four options are available you can click on the direction vector that means in this direction vector it will arrange uh, uh, you can with the next section section normal to it, the direction vector no need actually okay normal to the profile if you select the normal to the profile then it will look like this but the flow is not that much smooth uh, for that we have to select adjust the curve and you can tangent to the face that is better this face will be tangent the materials will be tangent to the face another geometry isoparameter next face next, yeah like this if you curve to the face that means it is look like it's curved to the face curved to the face yeah it's curved to the face it's tangent to the face it's normal to the profile it's no direction vector you can adjust the direction vector for it okay anyway I'm going to select 
direction vector you have to select the direction vector uh, curve to the face uh, click ok yeah and connects the two materials between them and uh, look like this and look like this yeah fine you can see this section for the material connection like this and thank you friends see you in the next tutorial bye bye